Do you love the look of tropical style banana plants in a garden? Perhaps you want to have a go at growing your own fruit, but you're worried that the cold temperatures of the winters where you are growing your plants might kill the bananas. Don't worry, there is actually multiple species of banana that you can grow in a country where the winter temperatures drop just below freezing for a short period of time. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the species that I recommend you grow for a tropical style garden or have a go at growing your own edible bananas. There are hundreds of species of banana that thrive in different habitats around the world. And I'm gonna share with you over the next few minutes, a selection of bananas that will thrive in areas of the world that get slightly colder winters. I'll begin my list with some of the most hardy bananas that we can grow. And as I move through the list, I'm gonna introduce you to some unusual and rarer banana species that have the ability to withstand cold temperatures. And I'll be sure to share plenty of tips along the way to help you grow these fantastic banana plants. First up is one of the giants, Musa Bazju, commonly called the Japanese hardy banana. Originating from the Ryukyu Islands near Japan, this hardy banana is said to be so resilient to cold, it can withstand temperatures in USDA gardening zones five through 10. That means in a severely cold winter at minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit, that's roughly minus 23 degrees Celsius, this banana is root hardy. Temperatures this severe will knock back these banana plants pseudo stem. Now it's a pseudo stem because it's only made up of old herbaceous material. Although sometimes referred to as banana trees, bananas are just actually giant herbs. In fact, they are some of the world's largest growing herbs. And the term root hardy means that if this stem is knocked back to the ground, provided the root zone has a good mulch, they will reshoot and regrow in spring and more often than not, they will regrow multiple plants in the spot where you lost just one. If the winters where you want to grow banana plants are a little more mild and drop just below freezing, it's likely this pseudo stem will maintain its height and your banana plants will get taller and taller year on year. You can, of course, always wrap the pseudo stem in horticultural fleece or straw just to protect it from any penetrating cold to ensure your banana plants get taller each year. Musa Bazju has an amazing ability to withstand strong winds. The central midrib of the plant remains intact when the rest of the leaves tear vertically to allow the wind to blow through, ensuring your banana plant doesn't blow over. And what's more, Musa Bazju is a banana plant that just keeps giving. If your banana is happily growing, it will produce multiple pups. That's offset plants that emerge from the root zone that you can divide and share with friends and family. Next up is a personal favorite of mine, commonly called the red striped Darjeeling banana. This beauty is Musa sikkimensis. Originating from Sikkim, an area in the Himalayas in Northeast India. Growing at altitudes of up to 2,000 meters, this high altitude mountainous growing plant is used to being exposed to freezing temperatures and as such has evolved to be resilient to them. I personally think that Musa sicamensis is one of the most attractive banana plants that you can grow. The upper surface of young leaves is streaked with deep maroon markings. The midrib across the center of the leaf is bright red and the underside is a coppery maroon color. Though not quite as hardy as Musa Bazju, Musa sicamensis is able to withstand winter temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius, that's 14 degrees Fahrenheit. At these extreme cold temperatures, the plant will be root hardy, just as with Musa Bazju. But if you wanna preserve the height year on year, just wrap that pseudo stem with fleece or straw and it will grow taller and taller every season. Now the beautiful red streaks on these young leaves will fade as the leaf matures, but every new leaf that Musa sicamensis puts out is covered in these beautiful markings. 
In my experience, I found the more sunlight that Musa secumensis receives, the more red markings there are on the leaves and the deeper the coloration. This particular plant was grown from seed by myself and it's only in its second year, so you can see that this is another fast growing banana plant. To help protect the root zone in severely cold winters, I'd recommend mulching around the base to prevent any penetrating cold damaging those roots. The pseudo stem of Musa sicamensis is a beautiful silvery green color and it looks great in the dappled shade beneath the foliage. This particularly ornamental banana looks great when planted against darker leaved plants that will pick out those maroon markings, but it also looks fantastic alongside purple flowers. There are now cultivars of Musa sicamensis available, like this form Bengal tiger, which has been selected for its leaf markings. Now this young plant is yet to fully develop its leaf markings, but I will be adding it to my garden and we can watch it develop. So hit subscribe if you're not already part of this channel. The next cold hardy banana in our lineup is a banana by the name of Musa cheesemanii, commonly called Cheeseman's banana. This is another wild banana species from northeastern India that has a hardiness level similar to that of Musa sicamensis. Though lesser known, I think this banana is equally as ornamental. The tightly packed pseudostems are a reddish brown colour and shine against lush green foliage. The upper levels of Musa cheesemanii's stem blush with a silvery white waxy bloom that carries on up the leaf stalks and into the leaf. The foliage of Musa cheesemanii is much narrower than the first two bananas we've mentioned in this video, but it's equally beautiful. The leaf midrib has a conspicuous purple brown colour. One of my favourite features of Musa cheesemanii is the fact that the underside of the leaf has a soft silvery sheen that looks fantastic as it sways in the breeze and reveals itself. This is another banana plant that I had to grow from seed because they are much less commonly available but well worth growing if you can find some seed or if you're lucky enough to find some plants. And last but by no means least is Musa velutina. Another species from northeast India growing in the high altitudes of the Himalayas. Though Musa velutina doesn't grow as tall as some of the other bananas featured in this video, it is fast growing and will offset and produce pups very quickly. Now the key feature of Musa velutina is its stunning inflorescence. That's flower spike. As this banana flowers, the bracts of the flower spike are bright pink and contrast beautifully against the golden green fruits that are sweet and edible, although they will be full of tiny black seeds. Musa velutina is a new addition to my garden this year, so I will be planting it out and we can test for its hardiness and enjoy watching that magenta pink flower emerge in the years to come. Hit subscribe if you want to follow me on that journey. Growing these banana plants in the Grow Paradise Garden has given me so much joy over the years. And I've learned that bananas are hungry and thirsty plants. So long as you can give them plenty of fertilizer and water in periods of drought, you are sure to have lush, happy and healthy banana plants growing in your garden wherever you are in the world. Every single banana featured in this video is root hardy in cold winters, so long as you mulch over the root zone and protect it from penetrating cold and frost. If you want to maintain your height year on year, just protect that pseudo stem with a wrap of horticultural fleece or straw. And that's it. No matter where you are in the world, you can have a go at growing your own banana plants. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. It's the easiest way to support the channel. And we've got a gardener's forum where you can go and create a free account and ask questions about anything you're growing in your garden, share pictures and chat with other people in the Grow Paradise community. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.